Welcome to the Disney Parks Podcast with your hosts, Tony Castlenova from DisneyByTheNumbers.com and Park Hopper John from WDWParkHoppers.com. Keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the podcast at all times and get ready for the Disney Parks Podcast. And now, the Disney Parks Podcast infotainment segment. Have you ever come to Orlando and you're the person that has to make all the dining plans, all the fast passes, get all the tickets? Well, we have a service that can help you do this. This is the best service. They are themeparkconcierge.com. You can call them up at 407-257-9973. Tell them your plans. They'll send you a little profile, get some information about you and your traveling party, what you want to do, what you don't want to do. And then they can set up a custom plan for you. And they'll take you around the parks. They'll make the dining plans. They'll get the fast passes. They'll take you to... Walt Disney World, they'll take you to Universal, they'll take you to Busch Gardens, to SeaWorld, to Legoland, to all of those places, and they will do all of the work for you. Contact them at themeparkconcierge.com, check them out on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Ramon VIP Concierge, or email them at Ramon at themeparkconcierge.com. I am telling you, you will not be disappointed. And if you tell them the Disney Parks Podcast sent you, you'll get 10% off your order. So what we'd like to take about 15... 20 minutes and just kind of debate the rumor that's going around and since Tony is the resident Apple expert here (laughs) what do you make of these rumors going around that Apple Inc. is about to purchase Disney Inc. Yeah, well it is a rumor alright so here's the thing Uh, the market analysts complain a lot uh, to Apple that they have I don't know I think it was like $429 million in cash in their reserves Mm-hmm. Which is a, which is more than some countries have, right? Okay, <laughs> and are worth. Um, so it's a ludicrous amount of money. So you ask yourself, well, what the hell would Apple do with Disney? There are two separate things. ones: a technology company, hardware, software, and the other one is an entertainment company with, uh, you know, television and movies and 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 retail and parks and all that kind of stuff. Well, I think it would be good for Apple, better probably for Apple than it would be for Disney, only because uh, Apple also wants to get into the content business. Right. You know, that's what Apple Music is about. Uh, They want to make, you know, Apple television where they can give you television the way you want television. If you want to watch only these 10 shows, you buy and, and purchase only those 10 shows. Right. You want to buy a season pass for that show, then you buy a season pass for that show. You just want that channel, you buy just that channel. So it would be a la carte television. But think if they had all the Disney entertainment, all the Disney movies and TV shows and Disney radio and all of that, then immersed into the Apple television. If they can get Disney you know, on Apple TV then that would make the greater and richer content provider. Right. And they might be able then to sway other uh, television providers. Now, you also have to remember, Disney owns like ABC and Lifetime, the Soap ESPN, Network, Freeform. ESPN, Freeform, Disney Channel, Disney Channel 2, all of that stuff. So there, that all then would be on the Apple TV platform. So that's a huge jump. So that they could go to other companies like Time Warner or you know Fox and say, hey, listen... Disney's on board. We have all this content, and why not bring your stuff on to yeah. our platform? Disney's on board because you own them. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, they don't have to be. I mean, yeah, you know, because I don't think Di- I don't think Apple would uh, take control over the Disney company. I think it would be a, a, a subsidiary of Apple. It would be 
you know, Apple and then Disney would be its own thing. It would still have a its little own bit like CEO. what they're doing with Lucasfilm because Lucasfilm yeah. still makes decisions and a little bit. Kennedy like is Marvel. still in charge of uh, right. Lucasfilms, right? You know, she's making all the decisions over there. Yeah, I just got done as a side note. I just got done listening to the uh, to the Steven Spielberg. Oh biography. yeah, you were saying yeah, and she was. Steven Spielberg's original. She wasn't an assistant. No, no, no. She wasn't necessarily an assistant per se, but she was the person. She was the person that Steven Spielberg hired. Uh, he had like a bunch of ideas, and mm. he said, "I want you to take all of these little bits of paper, and I want you to put them in some semblance of order, and see if we can make any movies out of them. See if they make sense." And she was one of the driving forces behind, like. Um, Indiana Jones, uh, uh, Schindler's List was probably in there. Goof was probably in there somewhere. Close Encounters, somewhere. not so much close after Close Encounters, mm-hmm. but you know some of his bigger hits. E.T. Yeah. Jaws. No, no, this is after Jaws. Mm-hmm. But so, if you go back and look at those credits, Kathleen Kennedy is a producer on every single one of them. Right, right, right. And then you know eventually her role became yeah. like an on you know an on screen producer of things. Yeah. And so she was with him for a long time. And she got hooked up with George Lucas, and then Lucas, uh, she was like working with producing for Lucas, and Lucas tapped her to take over uh, Lucasfilm. Mm-hmm. And then like within a year, he signed it over to Disney. Wow. So I'm I'm watching her at the at the celebration stuff. Yeah, thinking, God, the the pedigree that you came in, mm. just you know, and I and I think that a lot of Hollywood's incestuous anyway. Everybody knows everybody, and oh, sure. with everybody, sure. and everybody knows everybody else in their business. But it's just amazing to think about, you know, think about that. So back on the whole thing with Apple from a stockholder standpoint. Mm. Uh, I'm very intrigued by this because we yeah. do own some Disney stock. Yeah. We want to own more. Yeah. Yeah. I think we own a few more. I found out how much we own, actually, of like, we need to own more. We, yeah. we own a few. I'm very excited by what yeah. we own. But uh, why is it important for uh, people to buy Disney stock and not buy Apple stock? Yeah. You can probably explain this. Yeah, because I, I think what will happen is uh, if you own Disney stock and it's at, let's say, a buck thirty a share. I don't mean a dollar thirty either. It's one hundred thirty right now, right? <laughs> or hundred whatever it is. I know. I'll tell you. Yeah. Keep going. Um, so if Disney is bought by Apple, uh, hopefully that will convert to Apple stock, right? Which is worth four hundred twenty nine some odd dollars now or you, more. You say hopefully? Why wouldn't it? Because I do. I'm not sure of this, but I think they can split it, uh, and only like a, a portion of your share. Would become Apple, and then another portion would get uh, resold back to the company. I'm not sure how it all works. Uh, we have to ask a good uh, stock expert. Yeah, no kidding. You know, it gets complicated uh, when companies buy companies. You know, I know when Apple bought Pixar, it was a one for one trade, and that's how Steve Jobs became the largest shareholder of Disney, is because all of his Pixar stock became Disney stock. Uh, and his wife just recently, we spoke about this on a show, uh, she recently sold off enough of her Disney stock as uh, because every time uh, she wanted to uh, act on an option, she had to disclose all of her financial because she was Disney's largest stockholder. Right. And she got fed up with everybody seeing all of her money mm-hmm. and how much she was worth. So she sold off enough of her Disney stock so that she didn't have to file that paperwork any any longer. Yeah, um, I'm looking. Disney closed as we record this. Uh, Disney closed at 113. Um, And oddly enough, Apple closed at 143. Nice. You know, so you'd be able to make a little bit of bank on that. (laughs) You know. I think, I think that would be great, you know, and and I I'm fascinated by this for a lot of different reasons. I'm not yeah. sure how I feel about it because I I as a as a Disney nerd, I want Disney to always be individual. Mm. Now they've been sucking up other companies over the years, sure. You know, like Marvel, like Pixar, like Lucas, Lucasfilm, yes. you know, 
but I, I would love Disney to stay independent. However, if you if you put Disney with the power of Apple behind it, mm-hmm. you know the other. I'll tell you what the main reason I think Apple is interested in Disney and it has nothing to do with the theme parks or the content. Okay, Magic Bands. You think so? The Magic Band technology. When Gary Vaynerchuk talks about the Magic Band technology mm-hmm. on his show. I think that that's something they're interested in. Yeah. Because it's it's an area that they don't have anything. They've got wearable tech, mm. but they don't have the technology that, that Disney has. And I'm sure they probably got something like it. But well, You know what would happen to the Magic Band? Yeah, it would go on the Apple Watch. <laughs> exactly. Be on your yeah. iPhone. Yeah, it'd be on your phone, it'd be on your watch, and it would... <laughs> it would solve all of your problems. It would cease to, to exist. <laughs> I don't know about that. Then we'd have to, you know... Stop production of their rubber trees. Where <laughs> I don't know. I, I think wherever that, they're getting a rubber content. I think from. they would probably. I think they would probably make it an app. Oh yeah. For Apple users, and then for non-Apple users, you'd have the bands. No, they they would make a Android a Google thing. app. Yeah. I don't know, but that would solve all your problems. You would be able to have your your see, yeah. your Apple Pay, your yeah. your Apple. Yeah. Knock it all out in one shot. Then, if they can get rid of all of the other Disney cards in my wallet. <laughs> my D twenty three card, my annual pass card, my uh, uh, Disney Vacation Club card. They get rid of all of those yeah, you have other a lot of cards. cards happening there. Yeah, they get rid of all of those cards. I can lighten up my wallet and just put it all on my phone. That's right. I mean, that would be Nirvana for me. All right. My wallet would be one card thick. My debit card. <laughs> right. What would a negative be for Apple taking over Disney? They they may want you know complete control and then you know oversight and oversee everything and there may be budget restrictions and you know I mean Apple runs a tight ship yeah they're not all loosey goosey I think the know. parks would take a hit first something would take a hit first could be entertainment because you know movie budgets and TV show budgets can go wild pretty quickly I think yeah but when you're looking at a you know <laughs> not like a John Carter. You're looking at the hits, obviously, but when right. you have like John Carter, right, and you like have Beauty like, and Beast made a billion dollars. Yeah, but then you have movies like uh, I keep going back to John Carter, although I do love that yeah. movie. Carter was a, a sucky movie. Right. The Alice Through the Looking Glass was a sucky movie. The last three or four Johnny Depp movies, Lone Pirates. Ranger, the last Pirates movie wasn't very great. Yeah. Um, what was the last uh, outside of Through the Looking Glass? What was the last? Um, oh, Tim Burton. Tim Burton movie. Johnny Depp. I don't know. Uh, the Wiener Dog movie wasn't yeah. a big hit. Yeah, Frank and Weenie. Frank and Weenie. So yeah. y- you do have some clunkers there, and Disney's got a few. Dumbo's coming up. Is he going to ruin that? I don't <laughs> think so. I think he's. I think he's got that storyline down. But, but then you know. But then you look at your, you know, your movies like Guardians of the Galaxy. And they made it for like what twenty five, fifty, sixty million yeah. dollars, and it made a gazillion dollars. Right. They and got lucky on that. I don't think. They got I think lucky. they got a good cast. Uh, I, I think the soundtrack helped uh, push that movie along. Push that, you know. I I think down the street. A little I don't bit. think enough people give James Gunn credit. I really think yeah. that he he really kind of has this finger on the pulse of that. And I I'm really hoping that the next one is great. And I'm hoping that the next one is even better because they've already said they're going to do Guardians of the Galaxy three. Right, while we're on Guardians, let's talk about this. Have you seen? The Guardians building in California? Yeah. Oh, my God. You don't like it? No. Why not? It looks like a steampunk building from, like, the Taj Mahal. I don't think... I, yeah, I don't think it looks steampunk. I think it, it, it looks like... Uh, it looks like two worlds collided. Like, you know, the world of, like, India culture and steampunk. It looks like a really crappy overlay on the Tower of Terror is what yes. it looks like. They they should have done more to mask the fact that it used to be the Tower of Terror. Mm-hmm. However, what were you going to do? I mean, they wanted to do something different with it. No, good lord, yeah, you love it. Yeah, because they've got the fifty, sixty million dollars just sitting around just to. You're building Star Wars land over there. You could have what? You couldn't level a building over in the. How many years did it take them to build Avatar? Too long. Yeah, Don, I'm not, not holding my breath on that. I think they probably could have done a little bit more to the So outside. what do you think? Um, are they going to use the elevator yeah, it's technology? The same ride. It's the same ride. Mm. It's the same ride. It's a different story. Wow. You know, I don't, I'm not into it. 
but what no bueno for me. Yeah, all right, fair enough. I think uh, that was the cheap way out, my friends. I'm glad that they didn't take ours down, A, because ours is better than theirs was. and Still, still not better than the one over in Japan. Okay, but ours is better than that, Disneyland. All right. And B, they're going to take out the crappy Ellen's energy venture, hopefully, and put in a Guardians, and it'll be something new, and hopefully not an elevator ride. Hopefully oh, some completely new technology, new ride system, new something we've not seen. And that better be what we see in Pandora in two weeks. It's something we have not seen before. Oh, yeah, that's in two weeks, isn't it? Yes, that's on May 15th. That better be something we've never seen before at a Disney park. Otherwise, I will be completely disappointed. Yeah. If I had to wait seven years for one show building yeah. and the ride stunk. I'm not going to hold my breath on that. I think the the boat ride will be great with the It's a Small World ending. Um, I think that I think that uh, that would be funny if they piped it it's a small world music well you know they've got the music in the background uh, you know maybe at the end it'll be like happy birthday John you know and then the next person is like happy birthday Steve when we go on that and when we go on that boat ride that's what we we should sing it's a small world we should have it queued up on our phones like it's a small world uh, have you? You've never been to Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure thing over at uh, Hollywood. I mean, uh, at uh, Universal Studios Hollywood no, Horror Nights. No, they've had a running gag for six years, and it's like out of nowhere, somebody dressed blue comes running. And is like they have sex with their tails, <laughs> and that's the whole joke because really? that's that's what they came out of Avatar with. Mm-hmm. And you know, I'm gonna. <laughs> Walking around singing It's a Small World, and at any point in time, it's like, So tell me, you have sex with your tail? <laughs> Just to see what the nab. nab- uh, although I do want to see that knobby uh, animatronic. Yeah, the animatronic thing. That that video just. Yeah. Was like breathtaking. We shall see. We shall see. I think that will be Joe Jetty <laughs> for this attraction. Oh, it could be. It has the great potential. I've maybe. heard it's very complex. It, it's nothing they've ever done before. That's On that side, it's great. But it's not built into the show building. They could take it out and bring it back if they need to. You hope. Look at the Yeti. We thought they could take that out, too. Who did? Nobody <laughs> thought they could take it out. It was built into the structure. Well, the idiots. Let's, let's hope. Uh, I think one negative of Apple taking over would be they start piecemealing things out. Mm. It's like, we need to sell this off. We need to sell that off. And... Um, they sell. What do you think they might would want to sell? What do you think Apple doesn't want? What would be the one thing that they would not want to keep that would be the most cost? Soap opera network. No, no, nothing about that. Not a content production. <laughs> I think they would they sell off the parks. No. Hmm? Well, yeah, when they make money. Yeah. But stop and think about the upkeep and the, you know. No, I don't that traditions is now like 15 minutes long. It's like, hey, Walt Disney built a company. He worked with his, his brother Roy. Now you need to get out and be nice to the guests. <laughs> get out there and go sell some popcorn or something. And, and if you don't want to be, if you don't want to be mean to somebody, but you want to get one over on them, say have a magical day. Yeah, <laughs> have fun. Sell that popcorn, Rajesh. <laughs> All right. Uh, so on West today, they were, they uh, had a uh, some media actually in Pandora. They had media in Pan- Pandora. Of course they did, and they were shooting some shots and things like that. So, uh, they said that uh, that created 800 construction jobs. Mm-hmm. And uh, for the future, we'll have a minimum of at least 1,500 cast members working that land alone. 1,500? 1,500 in that In land. that little itty-bitty land? Yeah. Alone. That land is 12 acres, they said today. How many people work in the safari? Uh... I don't know. By the numbers guy. Look that up. You wrote a book. You should know. <laughs> how, how many cards they have on? That's how many people work. Fair enough. <laughs> in Expedition Everest. Uh, yeah. It's 1,500. 1500. And uh, I was watching some videos today, too. They had, um, uh, they've shown the costumes. Uh, there's three different costumes. One for the food people. Uh, then one uh, that'll be like the Alpha Centurion. That they are your guides through the land. Uh, and then I forgot the hell. The Navi. Maybe something so like that. They'll have Navi walking yeah. around having sex with no. their tails. 
Now, I think it was the food, uh, the attraction, and uh, the food attraction, and the and the Alpha Centaurian, which will be the people that will guide you through the land. I'm like, get over this. It, it's it's not a real place. <laughs> it's fake. Stop trying to sell me on the idea that this really exists. Yeah. You know, as a place I can go visit. <laughs> yeah. You know. Well, I told you my story. I was doing a, I was doing an ad for them, and, mm. and I said, you know, book your trip. And they're like, you can't say that. And I'm like, but it's a real land. Yeah. That didn't fly. That didn't, <laughs> that didn't fly at all. Yeah. Um, okay, so what do you think about Apple possibly taking over? Is there anything else we need to, no. to add on that? What do you think about Apple taking over yeah. uh, Walt Disney Company? What what are joining some, forces? Joining forces. They're having the synergy. The synergy. As we were talking to uh, the woman, the, as their the, as the, their tails meet. The chief synergy officer. The chief synergy officer. Remember that woman yeah, wrote I the do. book. She she yeah, works yeah, for yeah, Eisner. Yeah, yeah. She was the yep, yep, chief yep. synergy officer. See, chief synergy officer. Uh, what do you guys think about this? Leave us a comment or shoot us an email at DisneyParksPodcast at gmail Let us know what you think. What what are some positives? What are maybe some negatives? Maybe there's some things you're concerned about yeah um let us know and uh either way i'd probably be buying both stocks just in case yeah yeah i probably should be too all right well let us know what you guys think guys The Disney Parks Podcast is not affiliated with the Walt Disney Company. All Disney Parks, attractions, lands, shows, event names, etc. are registered trademarks of the Walt Disney Company. Like a boat out of the blue Fate steps in and sees you through